Hello viewers, greetings to you. Welcome to my channel. Please let me know where you're watching from. All right, this is a 48 volt, 300 amps hour battery bank. So how do I know that it is a 48 volt, 300 amps hour battery bank? These are eight pieces of uh, batteries connected in series and in parallel. So each of this battery is 12 volts, 150 amps hour. So we have the four, the first sets, four of them. They are connected in series. In series connection, you connect negative to positive, negative to positive, negative to positive. So since they are 12 volts and they are four pieces connected in series. So here we have 48 volts. Now, when you connect batteries in series, voltage will increase, but their capacity in amps hour will remain the same. So here we still have 150 amps hour. Then we go to the next string. All of them also connected in series. And the same goes, or the same applies here. Still 48 volts, uh, 150 amps hour. So uh, they are now connected in parallel. You can see the parallel line here, positive line. See the negative line. So these two now are connected in parallel. Remember, series connection series connection then we now parallel them so when we parallel them we have 150 amps hour 150 amps hour now when you connect in parallel capacity in amps hour will increase but the voltage will remain the same so uh, after connecting in parallel we have 150 plus 150 amps hour will give us 300 amps hour but the voltage uh, 48 volts 48 volts will remain the same so this is a 48 volt 300 amps hour battery bank now how do i know the number of solar panels that will charge this battery bank at 60 percent 60 percent dod how many solar panels will charge this battery bank at 60 percent dod let me show you how to do it at 60 percent dod the first step is that we need to know the energy uh, uh, storage of this battery bank, the, the, the energy capacity of this battery bank. And to know the energy, we multiply this voltage by the 300, uh, by the amps hour, capacity in amps hour. So this becomes 48 volts multiplied by 300 amps hour. This will give us uh, 48 multiplied 300 will give us 14,400 uh, uh, watts hour. Now, uh, we multiply this value by 60% DOD, which is 0 0.6. So this becomes 14,400 amps hour multiplied by 0 0.6. This will give us uh, 14,400 multiply 0.6 will give us 8,640 uh, 40 watt hour. Now, the next thing is that we are going to divide this value by the performance ratio. I'm using 65%, which is 0.65. But if you have solar panels with uh, high cell efficiency, you can increase the performance ratio to maybe 70%, 75%. But I'm using uh, 60, uh, 65%, which is 0.65. So 8,640 uh, 8, divided by 0.65. This will give us, uh, it will give us 13,292 watt hour. Now, the next step is that we'll divide this value by the peak sun hours. So let us use five as the peak sun hours. Here is our, this will cancel. So we have, we have 13,292 uh, divided by five. This is 2,065. 8 watts 2658 watt this is 2 
So we are now going to divide by the power rating of the solar panel we want to use. So let's assume we are using 450 watt solar panel. So this divide by 450 watts. So we will have uh, 2,658 divide 450. So we will have 5.9. This is 5.9, which is approximately six pieces of uh, 450 watt solar panels. So these are the number of solar panels we, we need to charge this battery bank at 60% DOD, six pieces of 450 watt. So what size of charge controller are we going to use? Size of charge controller that will control the charging of this battery bank. Remember, we are going to use an MPPT charge controller. So if we are using MPPT charge controller, uh, we have uh, six pieces of 450 watts. So this will be six multiplied by 450 uh, watts. This will give us uh, six multiplied 450, will give us 2,700 watts. Remember, this is a 48 volt battery bank. It is a 48 volt battery bank. So. We are going to divide for MPPT charge controller. We are going to divide the total power by the charging voltage of the battery bank. So we are using uh, 57.6. So this will be 57. Point, uh, you know, 6 uh, volts. So if we divide by this uh, 2,700 watts, divide by 2,700 divide by 57.6 will give us 46.8 uh, or 46.9 amps, which is approximately 47 amps. So we multiply by the safety factor in choosing a charge controller. So it will be 47 multiply 1.2. So we are having a size of 56. 0.4 amps. So this is the size of charge controller we need, but it will be difficult for you to get uh, an MPPT charge controller that is rated 56 amps. So we will go for 60 amps charge controller. So we need, remember, we need six pieces of 450 watt solar panels to charge in 48 volts, 300 amps hour battery bank at 60% DOD. Then we need uh, the size of charge controller, 60 amps MPPD charge controller, you know, to, you know, charge this battery bank. Now, the maximum PV input voltage of the charge controller will determine how we are going to connect these solar panels, whether we are going to connect them in series or in parallel. You can connect two in, uh, in series, two in series, because we are having six of them. We are having six of them. So if we have six, we have uh, panel one, two, and three. We have the next one here, four. We have five, and we have six. So here is positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So we can connect these two in series, two in series, two in series. Then we now parallel, uh, connect them in parallel. So this will be the positive and this will be the negative. Now, depending on the, what's it called? The PV input voltage of the charge controller. If you are using uh, a hybrid inverter, uh, you can connect them in series because the hybrid inverter, some of them can take up to 500 volts. Also, these ones, you can connect three in series. So if you have three in series, it will be like this one, two, three, another set, two, three. So you have positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative, then you now parallel. So you have your parallel here. So you can connect two, uh, three in series, three in series, then you parallel. You can also connect two in series, two in series, two in series, you parallel. You can also connect all of them in series. Now, depending on the PV, maximum PV input voltage of the solar charge controller. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, share, 
comment if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe so that you receive a notification each time i drop a video or whenever i go live thanks for watching see you in my next video